Listen, I think it's, I should be the one demoing the deadlift. No, bro, you are not you, deadlift. Oh, because oh, you like it the Either most. Either Justin or I do it. it. Whoever the, 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 the rules I, are. It depends, because mine's is. the prettiest. <laughs> So, I think guys, is that what we're going for here? Yeah. Or are we going for? We can't have him deadlift because everybody's going to critique the right. shit out of him. Yeah, they're, they're gonna, right. they, they think that he is. You know what? Let's have Adam because he's kind of like the yeah. between I'm the prettiest. Is that what you're going to say? Yeah. Yeah. Well, say well, I want, you know why I think Adam you're should the deadlift? Model. So people could look at his tights underneath his shorts. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> all right, let's talk about this. this. All right, for reals now, guys. Let's talk about the deadlift. This has got to be one of the top one or two exercises, period. End of story to build muscle. Hands oh, down. Of course. Squat deadlift. Squat and deadlift. Staple, staple exercise. And this one, uh, and so we're gonna do a conventional deadlift today. Yeah. Which there's there's many variations of the deadlift, just like there's many variations of the squat. And the the, the true deadlift from the ground off the conventional deadlift is the, one of the b biggest bang for your buck exercises besides the squat. 100%. It is a posterior chain movement, so you're working all the muscles of the backside of the body. It's a great back muscle developer and overall strength developer. It's one of those exercises that if you get, look at, if you get strong at the deadlift, you're gonna notice you're stronger at other things. Yeah. It's one of those carryover It carry carries over, over all over the place. It's huge. Yeah. So we have the appropriate amount of weight on the bar for Adam, 10 pound <laughs> bumper place. Why don't we go ahead and deadlift that, yeah, Adam? It looks Welcome. huge, but. Okay, a couple things like when, uh, when I'm getting ready for a deadlift, uh, just how you get walk up to the bar and you get ready to deadlift. Yeah. Uh, so when, when I get in, I'm, I'm looking at the lines, I'm gonna get my shins really, really close to, to the bar. Wait, if you look straight down, it's almost like you're looking down and the bar's about halfway your foot, right? Midline of the foot. Midline right. of the foot. Yeah, right. so okay. I'm gonna, and, and if you see the inside line, now I'm a pretty tall guy, so naturally people think that you wanna get in here and get this big wide stance, but we're gonna be able to generate more power if I can bring in more now, more yeah. in line with, with my hips. Yeah, mm -hmm. So I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna get really close to the bar. From that point, uh, what I want to do is I'm going to I'm going to get my hands straight down, right outside your shins a lot of times, and this is a hinging so exercise. Exactly not a squat. right. So yeah. most people they look to do a deadlift and they think they're just going to bend over to pick the bar up, right. but I actually I want to line my hands up with the bar and then I'm actually going to slide my hips back until I can get locked into place. And you get a nice tight grip. And now that I'm I'm locked into place, I should feel tension in my hamstrings and in my glutes. The slack should be taken out of my arms, so they're straight. Mm. And then I take my scapula, retract so my, my shoulder blades. I want to feel tension back there, so everything's tight. Once I got everything tight, that bar's coming straight up, and it's a hinge with my hips coming forward. Now, notice when he's standing up, he's nice and tall, shoulders pulled back. He's now overarching the back. Yes. A lot of guys will stand up. No, that's bad. You want to stand up nice and tall, and he's pushing his hips into the bar. Okay, I've seen people stand up and the bar's off their hips. Right. That's a lot of, lot of pressure on the lower back. His elbows are remain locked the whole time too, so we want to create this axis point here and here and have the legs drive the weight up. Now, a couple tips here with the deadlift. Uh, I like to tell people sometimes, pretend like you're driving your feet through the floor versus lifting the bar off the right. floor. Uh, that gives people the cue that they need to lift with better power. Right. Here's another tip. Squeeze the heck out of the bar. Before yeah. you do your lift, Grab that bar, crush it, and then do your lift. You'll right. find that you're much stronger. This is how, when, I, when there's, a, obviously this is pretty light, so it's hard for me to do this, but a little more weight on here, right before I start, you'll always see me take the, the, the tension. The tension off yep. the bar? Yep. And, yeah, and but not, pull, not lift the, the bar off. Pull the sure. slack out, so yeah. the arms are tight, and I can tighten everything up. Everything's tense, just like Sal said. I grip that bar, and then I drive my heels through, pull the hips forward. Right. And, then, and, then, and now, by the way, one of the best ways to do deadlift, you put the weight down, you let it sit on the floor, Yes. reset yourself before you lift. If you bounce the weight off the floor, that is a variation of the deadlift. Tense back up. Far more, da far more dangerous. Right. You wanna set it down, you wanna pause, get your positioning, make sure everything's set, make sure you're tight, make sure the hips are tight, make sure the core's tight, shoulders pulled back, good grip, then you stand up. Very good. By the way, real quick, if you have trouble holding on to a heavy bar, there's a couple grips you can use. You can either use a, I'll stand right in front of the bar. You can either use an alternate grip, which is what a lot of power lifters will use, one hand forward, one hand back, or you can use an Olympic lifting hook grip, and that's where you grab your thumb with your index finger under the bar, and you can lift a lot more weight that way. So it's like this. Definitely advanced. So either here, advanced technique. or I like to use this one here, and then do your deadlift. And that's it. That's it, yeah. Excellent.